and now it's going to be a review of So Fear 2, Project Origin, the, um, it, it basically takes everything the first was and just improves wherever, yep, it improves everything basically. It's, um, it's very addictive, it's fast paced, it's fun, it's very, very exciting and thrilling. Um, the, the graphics are much, much better. Um, there's this... Um, um, you have like uh, a computer kind of thing, and it's it's all in these glasses that they wear, um, you know, like Ghosts of Mars, basically. And you know, if um, like if you kill someone close to you, or if you get sometimes if you get hurt yourself, like blood stains will splatter up onto it, and if you're you know outside in the rain, raindrops will get on it, and very very uh, well done. Uh, the, and the, the, the engine allows for much more uh, detailed, um, much more detailed and photorealistic, like faces and, you know, the blood and guts are much more um, believable. The voice acting is excellent. Um, every single character is well written, credible, you know, psychologically accurate. And you're now a, a member of a, a different unit and, um, and I, I think they're um, a different... I, I don't think they're, you know, the, the fear organization. It's, it's some special forces military thing. And you actually... Your, your character actually gets a name. He still doesn't get... He still doesn't get a personality or anything, but, you know... It's very um, focused on action, but... It actually, um, it's, you're not only battling, you know, the, it's not only these John Woo-like shootouts, you know, that, that is emphasized somewhat, but I'll get to that. It's not only these, um, gunfights with, you know, soldiers and such. Now you're also fighting, um, you know, more, I mean, before there were the, the apparitions, but they weren't really a challenge. Unless there were a lot of them, or they were appearing really close to you, they weren't a challenge. Now you're fighting this um, new, fast and creepy enemy also, and and just in general, it it's a really effective mix of the supernatural elements and you know the the action and such. So yeah, I never got bored of it. I mean, it's a really short game, but I I mean it it took me basically a day and maybe a few hours to beat, but it and it's very addictive. You just want to see what the next thing is, uh, what the next plot development is going to be. The reflex time is uh, improved. You, um, you know, you finally don't have to be standing still to uh, activate it. And it, um, in addition to slowing down time, which also seems to help you more this time around, it also, it gives this hue to, um, to your enemies. So, you know, they're like, um, you know, they almost emit an aura of sorts, so they're much easier to spot, and, um, you know, it just, it's a lot more. And also, adding to the John Woo, um, aspect of it, you can now create your own cover. You can, you know, slide a desk or tip over a table and such, and that'll provide you some cover. Um, and you can do that with, you know, most, uh, objects where it makes sense. You know, you can't knock over a refrigerator or, um, um, you know, a coke machine or something. It ignores the events of both of the expansion packs, so, you know, what happened in the first game has happened in the continuity of the second. Um, it, it starts right before the end of uh, the first of them, and, um, and, and it moves the plot further, and it's very exciting. Um, very engaging and thrilling mystery. And the ending is pretty interesting, and um, there are memorable battles along the way. Um, the the weapon the weapon loadout is very good, and you also get to drive this like mech kind of. I, I think they call it an, an elite powered suit, and it's got like uh, twin Gatling gun, Gatling guns, and um, and it fires missiles also. So that's very cool. The sound design is again uh, amazing. The the atmosphere is extremely creepy. Um, I mean, I would rank it at around the same level as Silent Hill. You know, it's it's really that good. So yeah, all in all, 
it's definitely worth trying if you've um, you know if if you like the basic concept and if you like the first one, but it is very very short. You know the single player portion. So if you're not sure, you might want to try renting it first.